Welcome to the Veterans Gaming Podcast. This is Kevin, and this is episode 24 of my Football Manager 24, <clears throat> excuse me, Oldham Athletic uh, Manager Career Mode, and this is it. This is the last two games of the season. We're still fighting for a playoff spot. We've got uh, two matches coming up uh, tonight. Uh, we're going to play at Oxford City, and we're going to play at home to Wellstone. Uh, two games that we should win. Let's look at uh, where Oxford City is. They are sitting in eighth, 18th, and Wellstone are sitting in 17th. <clears throat> neither the neither one of these teams has anything to play for. Uh, they'll just be playing for pride. There's uh, no chance of them getting relegated to the Vanarama North or South Leagues. So they're they're okay. Nothing to play for. In our case, uh, we've pretty much got a playoff spot on lock. We just really need one point to clinch uh, the playoff spot. Uh, Chesterfield, they've clinched automatic promotion. In order for Woking to, excuse, or Gate, well, Woking's out of it, but Gate should to get ahead of us. They're going to have to score like 20, 20 goals because our goal differential is plus 17. They might be able to overtake South End, but they're not going to overtake us. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and uh, continue here. <clears throat> And let's get ready for that match against Oxford City, and hopefully we can clinch uh, the playoffs. <clears throat> okay, uh, no, no emails here. Oh, okay, we do. Uh, intermediary suggestion. Let's not worry about that. <clears throat> Daniel Ephraim, he hasn't made any any progress. Uh, he's a decent young prospect. 17-year-old midfielder has some potential, but he may not get too far. Some of the more negative characteristics of the locker room have unfortunately curtailed Daniel Ephraim's development, <clears throat> you know, whatever that means. Let's look at the last email. Okay, weekly staff meeting, so we'll we'll get to that, but uh, hold on tight. I'll be right back here on the Veterans Gaming Podcast. Okay, we are back here on the Veterans Gaming Podcast, episode 24, football manager 24 of my Oldham Athletic career mode. We're trying to get to the playoffs, but we got to do all these emails first. We got five days left till the max match at Oxford City. Let's see what we got here. I would recommend individual crossing training for Hallam Hope in order to work on his crossing and technique. There are slight weaknesses, so let's go ahead and do that. Ben Tollett could do with individual attacking movement. I'm not going to do that because he probably he won't be back on the team next year. Tom Conlon has had strikes look, struggles with strength and jumping. So with Conlon, I'll do that with him. Let's move on. <clears throat> Ethan Walker's attacking movement training is a waste of time, so let's stop that. We should reflect Tom Conlon's playing time as an important player. And I couldn't agree more. He's been a, he's been fantastic. He's been, he has come on, come on very strong as of late. So let's uh, let's uh, put him as an important player. He won't become unhappy because he's important. <clears throat> All right, player training changes after speaking with him. I think it would be wise to play close attention to Ruben, Chuck Woody in the coming weeks, as I were. He may become unhappy with training. 
Okay, so let's uh let's go ahead and do that. If he's unhappy with trading, that's that's fine. <clears throat> let's move on. We need to pay close attention to Collins Kagami. He has been training superbly and showing signs that he is ready to take it to the next level. He is he has been playing absolutely outstanding. Wish he had scored against Rochdale, but uh that's okay. He's an exciting young prospect. Uh not very technical, but his mental uh he's got some good mental attributes and some good some good physical attributes too. So Collins Collins Kagami's coming on strong. He'll be a factor next season. Now, Ethan Walker, let's see, individual training. Let's go with the individual endurance training for Ethan Walker. Uh, he's a 21-year-old who's uh who's got a bright future uh for this team. All right, let's move on. I'm delighted to report that you have a strong backing from the squad right now, primarily due to the fact that you've established yourself in the job and are in this for the long haul. <clears throat> well, I, I'm in it for the long haul as long as the team uh, wants me there. See what Richard Kelly says. The squad are strongly behind you, good. Something needs to be done about Sean Hopkins' extreme poor recent form. He needs to know it's unacceptable. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he's been playing that bad. That's just me. Gary Braben has been impressed with the performance of Mark Kitching. Absolutely. Do that. Tom Collins' recent form hasn't been anywhere near good enough, and someone needs to have a word with him about it. Okay, let's. Uh, this this might get a little tricky here. So, with this meeting with two out of these three players, who, quite frankly, I don't, I really don't think are playing. Uh, I really don't think are playing all that bad, to be honest. But <clears throat> let's go ahead and do these meetings. Let's uh, let's praise this right here. Let's put my arm around Kitching. I'm really pleased with your form. Thanks, boss. I know he'll he'll be leaving, but uh, he's been doing great. I don't think I should do this, so I'll I'll just continue. It, we're getting too close to the end of the year for, for any kind of criticism. Uh, Shelton, <clears throat> uh, who's been injured. Okay. He's uh, in a position to start full training again after pulling uh, ankle ligaments. Unfortunately, Josh Lundstrom is hurt. He'll be out 9 to 12 days. So let's uh, go ahead and get get that taken care of. Let's go to the next day. We've got four days left until that match against um, Oxford City. They've got a match against FC File again. Oxford City, nothing to play for. The recruitment focus, nothing has changed. Oldham injury update. Uh, Dan Ward. Okay, he's uh, almost back to full strength. Lundstrom might be back in time for the uh, Oxford game, but I probably won't play him. Okay, these guys have uh, had a heavy workload, but it's too late in the season to pull back. Okay, this is the same thing that we've been dealing with, and uh, I'm not worried about that with uh, DeBarn. Okay, the uh, file beat Oxford City, so Oxford City will fall to 18th, but again, they won't get relegated. They have nothing to play for. Let's continue. So hopefully the fact that they have nothing to play for will make things easier on, on us. Continue. Will Sutton, tight calf. It's only going to be one or two, one to two days. So nothing severe, nothing to worry about. So the big one is right here, April 13th at Oxford. We just need a point to secure a playoff spot. Uh, let's see, they've got a Reese Fleet. Let's see, let's take a look at Reese Fleet, 32-year-old midfielder. 
pick pretty strong, but that that's really about it with him. Uh, Chris Haig, their goalkeeper, performing well. Zach McEachern's aerial statistics appear to be uh, outliers. Let's see, is a twenty-eight-year-old winger. Okay. 28 year um, central midfielder looks like he's just kind of hitting the peak of his powers. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Candace Carroll, uh, the other winger. They've scored, uh, they don't score inside the penalty area. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what we got here. In a move that has created pearling of intrigue, Talmani Diagogara, Diagoraga has been named as Wellstone's new head coach. Diagoraga Diagaraga will face pressure to bring immediate success to Grosman Ovale, having stepped up as a, from his previous thing that takes sole charge. Okay. Interesting. So Sam Cox will be uh, back at his previous role as just a regular coach. Okay, so this, well, okay, well, we won't be, uh, are we going to be playing these guys? I don't think so. Let's see what the, yeah, we'll play them the last game of the season, but I don't think that's going to have any effect on us. So, especially if we take care of business against Oxford City. All right, so uh, in preparation, uh, the tactical preparation, we'll study how uh, they react after turnovers. Uh, we're going to study their defensive setup at corners and uh, prepare for how the opposition likes to set up from attacking free kick situations. Okay, let's continue. You're watching the Veterans Gaming Podcast. This is episode 24 of my Oldham Athletic uh, Manager Career Mode. I'm trying to get promoted to uh, League 2. Okay, this is the recommended team selection. It's looking good, except I'm not, I'm not going to have Obi in there, but... And I'm not, I'm not putting Norwood either. either. So there's going to be some changes here, for sure. But Langley's the undisputed starter at goalkeeper. Okay, so that's done. Minnows, Oxford City are slight underdogs and which should prove a tightly contested affair against Oldham. Oldham will secure playoff berth if they avoid defeat in their next match against Oxford City. Uh, simple as that. Oldham athletic favorite Peter Clark has singled out right wing back Harry. Bart whistle. Okay, so I guess I guess this young man Bert Whistle from Singapore. He's gonna be somebody that's gonna create a lot of problems for us. All right. Pre-match press conference. I'm going to uh no, I'm gonna keep it the same. Uh since it's an away game, send the assistant to take care of that. Let's go to the inbox. Available first team players for under 18 match. No, sir. Hold the team meeting. Let's take the pressure off of us here. This match. Oxford City are not in our class, and we should easily avoid defeat to them here to ensure playoff qualification. Oh, Ethan Walker got mad. Uh, but. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough, that's why we have these meetings. You'll have a you'll have the right to the opinion. Okay. That team meeting didn't go all that well. But the leadership support is very good and the locker room atmosphere is good. So let's go let's continue. Let's make it happen here against Oxford City. <clears throat> 
one more email. Dan Langley. Spencer Kagame stepping it up. Put my armor on him. You're developing really well. I can definitely feel the benefits. Thanks for the kind words. Yes, sir. I expect a clean sheet from Dan Langley. What a surprise. What a surprise acquisition. I'm glad I got him. Okay. F Fleet and Altrin Camp is uh, the main event. Let's see. Yeah, F Fleet trying to survive. They're two points ahead of Dag and Red. Let's see, uh, the under 18, the Stammer. Who's this guy? Dante Cisse. Exciting young prospect. Six foot two. Our central defender. Okay. Not very good at the rest of the stuff, but he's uh, 16 years old, makes good decisions. So I might I might as well sign him because you know he might uh 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 no I'm not gonna sign him just yet let him develop but let me go back here uh Stamatu okay player of the match let's see who won the game okay the under 18s there in the middle of the pack in that league it was a it was a draw. Okay, we got we got something here with this young man who who we signed. So he's a support winger. Okay. Okay, good. Fitness test. Lundstrom not ready. Sutton not ready. Shelton not there either. All right. Okay. Now let's walk away for now. Let's continue. Let's go to the match. And let's get out and clinch promotion. Yeah, Dallas should replace Norwood. And yeah, let's definitely do that. We do our chances no harm by mark, tightly marking uh, Rennie Smith, who's right here on the right side. They're attacking midfielder and uh, McCreechin as well. All right. Let's go. Okay, uh, Obi. Obi's gonna sit. Hobson. Dickinson. Here. Devon Green, obviously. He's gonna start. Dallas is gonna start as well. Where is uh where's Reed? He's gonna be in place of uh he's gonna replace Norwood, Sharon. No color and Spencer are fine. I'm going to put I'm gonna start Helen Hope here. I'm gonna start Sharon instead of uh, instead of Conlon. Everything else is looking good. Everything else is looking really good. Let me look at Kilner. Yeah, I'm gonna put uh, Kilner in. Okay, ain't nobody else playing lights out here. Dickinson leave. Let's see. Get Norman out of here. Let's get. Glover, where's Glover? 
right here. Ryan, oops, Ryan Glopper, where are you? There we go. Marcel Lundstrom. Oh, Kilner's on loan. Oh man, okay. Okay, let me put shot in the game. No, 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 Get Tollett. Where's Ben Tollett? There we go. Okay. That should do it. Let's go. Let's get that promotion slot. Everybody's happy and pleased and emboldened and roused. Let's go to the match. This is it. At Oxford City to clinch a playoff berth. Raglan is a really good fit. Time to win. Mark, Zach, and McGreffin tightly. They've made some changes to their lineup. Let's go to the dressing room. Secure a play. Let's do it. Okay, Andrew Dallas, expecting you to perform. Let's go at Oxford City. Squat then clinch that playoff berth. All right, let's uh let's get a goal quick too. If I can get a goal within the first five minutes, be happy. Andrew Dallas, six goals in fourteen matches. Oh, hello, Hago59. I was uh, uh, the Iraq War in 2003. All right, Spencer, thank you for joining. Okay, we're in the uh, Visiting Orange, Satchdev, Raglan, Sharon, Hobson. Oh, for anybody that's uh, watching me from England, I get, uh-oh, Kaga. Devon Green. Um, Gareth Southgate has stepped down as a hope coach of England. Uh, anybody that's uh, from England watching this show, well, go ahead and get in the chat and give me your thoughts. Kitching with the corner. Oh, I thought he scored. Kitching with another corner. Yes, Andrew Dallas. Very weak defending by Oxford City, but that's what I'm talking about. Andrew Dallas has made a big impact. Off the deflection there, nobody nobody marking Dallas. I mean, we are up one nothing. Let's praise this team. Excellent effort. Excellent. Everybody's doing good. Kirby. Hurt whistle, who's a threat. Oh. Oh, come on. 1-1. One, one. Embarrassing, embarrassing defending. Now I got to berate the team. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Okay, another corner. Let's make it 2-1 to one here. Kitching. Devon Green to Kitching. Hops in. Back to such depth. Okay, another corner. Oh, this is like the Rochdale game. We had like 60 corners in that game. Kitching. Sean Hobson. Yes, sir. And it's two to one. Roberts missed the header. And Hobson was there to clean up the mess. All right, good job, Sean Hobson. I'm glad I didn't have that talk with him about his form. Let's keep focus. Okay, Kitching with the free kick. 
Okay, that's out. <clears throat> By the way, uh, Hago59, thank you for uh, watching uh, this episode. Uh oh. McCreechan, their star player, Kirby. Oh no, Smith. Ooh, that's out. All right. Okay. We're going into 30 minutes into the first half. The first half has flown by. Okay, Langley to Raglan. Look at Raglan making a run. Spencer, such that. Oh, oh, too long across there. Oh, Kagame. Ooh, that was close to being, it being three to one. Okay, we're getting close to halftime here. Langley. There, Hope, Hallam Hope. Satchdev. Young 18 year old from India who's coming on strong. Devon Green, make it three. Okay. That's a corner. Five minutes left in the half. Kitching. Okay. Devon Green. Oh, bad pass there. Okay, we're getting close to halftime here. I mean, we're in pretty good control of the match. Kitching. Ooh, close. Okay, we're, do we're doing well. Okay, don't get complacent out there. Okay, everybody's more attentive and inspired. Good. Let's go. Let's clinch this. Burt Whistle. Ooh, good. With the move. Back to Burt Whistle. Devon Green shuts that down. All right. We're headed into the 50th minute. Uh-oh, here comes uh, Oxford City. Burt Whistle, okay. That's out. Okay, going into the 65th minute here. I think we're in very good shape here. About 20 minutes left. A draw clinches a playoff berth. Kitching, Kagame. Kitching to Sharon. Sure, on terrible pass. Now comes a counterattack. Okay, we kind of stifled it there. Roberts to Ani Adetoro to Kirby. Kirby McCreechan, who's their star player, Bert, Bert Whistle. Okay, uh oh. Oh, it's out. Okay, lovely move. Is that a corner? It is. All right, 15 minutes left. McCreechan, corner. Uh-oh. Green slate. Oh, good job, Devon Green. Oh, hope. Hope. Oh, can you make that? Oh, good sliding tackle there. All right. Okay, Kitching. Corner. Kagami to Kitching. Oh. Okay, let's get Kitching out of there. Let's get Kagami out. Let's put it up. Conley, and then let's take. Dallas out. Put him read, and that should uh, we should be able to seal the deal there. Okay, kitchen was offside. We met our three subs. One more thing. Let's be more disciplined. Do that. All right. Tang on here. We got five minutes left. 
Conley with the corner now. Okay. Green gets it to Conley. Oh, nice move. <sighs> Reed, come on, bro. Goal kick. Should have finished it. Okay, injury time. Stoppage time. Okay. We got four men on him. Fleet. No, okay. That should do it. That should do it. Okay, we're just a few seconds away from clinching a playoff berth. Okay, Langley taking his time here. It's all over, and we have clinched a playoff berth. Yes, sir. Mark Kitching, great match. Hops in a great match defending as well. We did it. Well done. Well done. We have uh, clinched a playoff berth. Hallelujah. That was the minimum requirement. Right. And it looks like South End will be able to get the last playoff spot. So it looks like we might play Halifax. Okay. All of them have done it. Okay. So proud of all of them. Fantastic result. Defended well, attacked well, brilliant performance. Let's see. Oxford City had no answer to Oldham's prowess from dead ball situations as the Latics scored all their goals from set pieces on a wet afternoon at the Raw Charging Stadium. Advanced forward Andrew Dallas got Oldham off to a flying star by scoring a fine header from point blank range. And then uh, Joe Bodie equalized. Oldham's winner came through Sean Hobson as he sieged on Miss Mitchell Roberts' mistake to score a good header from just inside the six yard box. Haig was forced with a, off with a fractured wrist. Ooh, after making a save, okay. Mm, sucks for him. Hope he uh, recovers. We did it. We did it. We did it. All of them have guaranteed themselves a Vanarama National League playoff place. All of them have drawn three of their last five away games. Fine season uh, for the Latics, who, aside from a short spell around September when they dropped to 13th, were able to mount a successful challenge for a playoff spot, spot as many predicted. Okay, I read that. Okay. Sir, player of the week. C and Hayes. Good player. All right. Clinched. Okay, we've got a few days until the Wellstone match. Uh, Man City. It looks like they're going to win the Premier League. Barcelona might win uh, the La Liga. All right, so that last match that we've got doesn't, doesn't mean anything. Okay. Intermediary suggestions that don't matter. Uh, Ward, full training. Uh, I'm not sure about that. We all believe in ourselves at the club, and we won't stop in our pursuit of being the best we can be. Let's keep that question simple. Ryan Spencer, after appearing in 20 games, gets a, gets a well-deserved raise. Good for the young man. The schedule for the Wellstone match. And the match that just doesn't matter. Joe Nuttall is scoring his first Cheltenham goal of the season. Okay. Yeah, Dan Langley has improved. Weekly staff meeting. Let's do the staff meeting, though. Can't miss that. Individual strength training for Lighten Chapman is recommended. All right. Let's do that. 
but it's time to recognize uh, Sean Hobson as a regular starter. No question. Same thing with uh, Charlie Raglan, our captain. Rethink the individual training plan, okay? Mark Kitchen, player of the year for us. Okay, and Jesse Williams. I'm, I like I like him. I like Jesse Williams. Six foot three. He's got a lot of mental, uh, a lot of good mental attributes going on. The determination, leadership, positioning. Uh, his heading isn't all that great, but we can. The jumping reach is good. Six foot three. Yeah, we we got one here. We got a good one. Tom Collins' uh, influence has diminished. Okay, let's end the meeting. I don't agree with that, but that's okay. Let's go. Man City, like I said, leading the league. Bayern Munich blowing away the Bundesliga, no surprise. My old teams from uh, FIFA 23 and FC 24, Blackpool and Derby County, looks like they're going to get promoted to the championship. Good for them. Let's see what this email says. Oh, Tom Collin uh, twisted knee out six to eight days, so that's not too bad. All right. So hopefully he'll be ready for the playoffs. Keith Curl has been fired by Dorking. Sat unfortunate for him. Recruitment focus, nothing new. All right, let's go. Because I want to find out who will be playing in the playoffs. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing with Devon, but he's playing well, so. Now we can get plenty of rest to get ready for the playoffs. Uh, Kitching is hurt, only a tight cap, no, no issues. James Norwood, hurt again. Okay, I'm not worried about this Wellstead match, Wellstone match, excuse me. Okay, I'll, do, I'll change everybody in that lineup. Race for coefficient spots. I ain't worried about that. Let's look at the standings. So it's basically down to South End, Gate Shed, and maybe, maybe Woking. And uh, Altringham, Altringham needing a miracle. They need Woking, Gate Shed, and South End to lose. And for them to win, to get in, but we're in. So, and I got to give props to South End. Uh, 10 points deducted due to financial mis mismanagement, and yet they are right there knocking at the door of a playoff spot, getting that last playoff spot. So, respect to them for that. Let's continue. Survival at stake. Let's see, Dog and Red against Alder Shot. Not for Augur, Shaw. They're good, but Dag and Red, yeah. And Hartlepool, maybe. They might survive, too. Kidderminster and Dorking, they're relegated. They're done. Continue. Okay. I don't know how to uh, simulate the game, so looks like I'll have to watch. So I'm going to make a lot of changes. Let's put Norman in. Since you're pissed. Excuse me. Raglan. Let's put Hogan in. I want to put people that don't normally play. Alid. 
Bu da olmayana. No, you know what? I'll play Lincoln Green. No, I'll play Green. Here. And then I'm gonna play. Uh, let's put on. Uh, where's uh this guy? Where's Atherton? Okay, I don't want Spencer playing, so where is this guy? Haven's in. I sure the heck don't want to play Kitchen. This Hammond guy in here. Okay, he is going to come in for Satch Dev. Lundstrom's coming back from injury, so I'll play him. And let's. Have a couple of numbers here. Submit the numbers. Let's go to the match. I'm not doing anything there. Okay. Let's get this match over with. <clears throat> this is the last match of the season. We've already clinched the playoff berth, so it doesn't matter what happens here. I'm just playing out the string here. Mason. Nice player. Okay, one nothing. Ollie Havens gets his first goal of the season. His first ever goal for Oldham. Uh, he, I, I was high on him, but I don't think he's going to be good enough. I still got faith in Atherton, though. It bounced off the defender, but who cares? It's a goal. Four minutes in. You're watching the Veterans Gaming Podcast. This is, again, Football Manager 24, Episode 24 of my Oldham Athletic Career Mode. I've clinched a playoff berth, and so now I'm trying to hopefully win the playoffs and get promoted to uh, League 2. Uh, game is tied. doesn't matter. If you're loving this show, you can subscribe to, follow me, excuse me, on Twitch. And uh, YouTube, my channel is Veterans Gaming Podcast. If you really love this channel and you want to donate to the show, you can do so on my cash app. My cash app is dollar sign Veterans Gaming 24. All right, here we go. Henry. Wellstone, not, nothing to play for either. Okay. <clears throat> And then uh, that'll be it for this episode. And then in the next episode is when the playoffs start. Don't know who I'll be playing yet. I'll find out here in a little bit after this match. Ooh. That was almost goal two there. Thank you. Thanks. 
מגי היא? חורגן. Great pass by Havens. And back to Hogan. A good job. Walker with a cross. Lincoln Green. Free kick. Good shot. Good shot by Atherton. <clears throat> Hammond with the corner. It'll be interesting and see who uh, who's going to replace Gareth Southgate at uh, England. I, I definitely a good tackle by Lundstrom. Uh, it's definitely not going to be Jurgen Klopp, that's for sure. Atherton, Hammond, nice pass. Okay, good defending there. Oh, that's a, it's over, two to one. Yep, Corey Andrews scores. The break. Ah, let me break the team here. Just to let them know I'm there. Henry. Hey, I'll do a little I'll do a little coaching here. Come half time, I'll tell them I'm not, I'm not happy with how they're playing. And that should do the trick. Mm. Good, good save by Norman. Let's press Corey Andrews. Let's not get blown out of the water here either. Okay, half time. Let's get our act together. Let's rock and roll. Lundstrom. Lincoln Green to Lundstrom. Havens. And that was actually a good, good cross there. <clears throat> All right, I'm not planning on making any substitutions either. I'm just trying to get this game out of the way. Okay, Hammond. Lundstrom, Atherton, shoots it. Oh, how did he miss that? Yellow card for Hammond. Oh, that worked. That was nice. Walker, oh, how did Atherton not score? Wow. Oh, let's push her on in. And then Yeah, McGahey. Oh, that was a good save. Skull kick. I thought that was a save. Okay, 20 minutes left here. Okay, I'm not going to do any more subs. Webster. Barker, Bowen. It's over the, over the bar, well over the bar. Okay, Norman, goal kick. Not a good one. Bowen. Oh, wide open. Flaherty, a dark walk. Wow. 
Magnus One was a shit keeper too. He really is. They're going with a back five. Okay, this one's over. What was that? Oh, that must have been all sides. Atherton. Look at Atherton. Oh, not in time. What flared out here? Oh, that was wild off the post. That should have been three. That's out. Okay, he, Sharon Havens. Ah, oh, that was weak. Yeah, I don't think Havens is good enough to play. Sharon showing his medal, though. See, look at this, Lincoln Green, uh-oh. Okay. That's it. Yeah, shameful performance. It was. But it doesn't matter. Low King. Low King ends up in the playoffs. Okay. So Gates head is out. South End, they Woking gets past them. Dagon Red relegated. Hartlepool relegated. Kidderminster and Dorking. Dagon Red. That 5 5, man, that really pissed me off. That 5 5 game, but oh well. Okay. Woking, they had they got three straight wins. It was a fine season for the Cardinals. Yeah, huh? They tied at Rochdale but couldn't win it. Oh boy, we're gonna play. Uh... Oh, that game's in five days too. The first round, okay. Rochdale, they'll either play us or Solo. Okay, that's all I need to know. Oh, wow. Alfie Rutherford. For Dorking, who's already relegated. They, uh... They mess it up for a Harlepool. Okay, let's continue. The training schedule, we're going to rest. Okay, so with that, so let's continue. Okay, thank goodness the the I'm gonna save the game here. Nothing but rest. Let's see what the emails say. I'm not worried about that. Still time to roll for player of the season. Let's go on to the next day. Man's okay. FA Cup final, Nottingham Forest against Brighton. Okay. Uh, in the semifinal, excuse me. Okay, April 21st. Okay, well, we're gonna do some we're gonna do some training. And it's gonna be at Solihull New York's. Match is gonna be three days away. Magnus Norman didn't train up. Didn't turn up for training today. This is the first time that Norman has been absent without leave. Norman is reportedly far from happy at Boundary Park, and although still considered an important member of the Oldham squad, the goalkeeper is said to be considering his options. He will be disciplined. He's got to get rid of this clown. He's going to mess things up for the team. 
Let's go to the next day. Uh, Magnus Norman has acknowledged that his unprofessional behavior is unacceptable and that he deserved his fine. He has indicated a willingness to improve his behavior in the future. Norman was fined a half a week salary as part of the club's agreed code of conduct. All right. Uh, weekly staff meeting. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to save this game and I'm going to get out of here. I have clinched a playoff berth officially. So that's all I care about right now. Okay. With that win at Oxford City. So uh, that's going to be it uh, for uh, this episode of the Veterans Gaming Podcast, Football Manager 24, episode 24 of my old athletic career modes. Uh, next time around, we will have episode 25, and I will have my match against uh, Solo Rule Muir's who I think we've lost both times this season. We can't have that happen this time. So until the next episode, this is Kevin, and this has been the Veterans Gaming Podcast.